Hello Slash Tracks viewers. The episode you're about to see will not include the movie Return of the Living Dead 2 due to copyright restrictions here on YouTube. But you can use the link at the top of the description below to watch this episode with the movie included off of YouTube streaming. Or you can watch this episode as is and have your own copy of Return of the Living Dead 2 prepared and when we say go you can start the movie and watch it with us as we riff on it. And be sure to listen for the code word sometime during the episode to win a $10 Amazon gift card. The first person to comment in the comments below with the code word will be our winner. Enjoy! When Master Evil comes to play And Mama says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away and made to watch these movies to stay alive until the day they made us Welcome, viewers, to Slash Track, episode 16. Tonight, Alex and Josh will be watching... Uh, they will be watching... Good Lord, man, why are you twitching? I got electrocuted today. You've got horseshit wiring in this freaking place that you're holding me in. Yeah, tell me about it. You think that's bad, Alex? You should hear about the plumbing at where I'm at. Just the other day, I was in the bathroom. Oh, my and, God. And that's so fucking gross. I didn't finish telling my story. What do you mean you didn't? I heard I heard the entire thing. I heard all of it. Oh? Um, if you would kindly return your attention to me. You'd like to tell us that we're watching Return of the Living Dead 2. We got it. How did you know that? Uh, well, obviously, getting electrocuted has made me be able to read minds. Oh, cool. What's Master Evil thinking right now, dude? That he'd rather be playing Laser Pointer with Mr. Flivel? Duh. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Interesting. I could use your powers for my own evil schemes. Let's test them. What number am I thinking of? Seven. Flu. Rainbow. Taco. Grease lightning. Oh, my. Ew, Master Evil, that's your mom. You've got a filthy mind, dude. Uh, get out of my mind. Did I hear someone say mom? Ma, get out. Alex is reading our minds. It's not safe. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm leaving. Wait, 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 what? Master Evil is adopted? Really? Well, um, you see... What? Adopted? You mean I'm not really evil? Ma, say it ain't so. Is Sister Evil even my little sister? Oh, wait, I get to talk now? No, shut up! Well, what? Does this mean I'm not really a rodeo clown? That doesn't even make any sense. And he said shut up! Okay, prisoners. Go watch a movie. I have something to sort out with Ma. Come, Mr. Flivel. Wait, Mr. Flivel is really a cat in disguise as a stuffed cat? And he's starving his ass off for Meow Mix? Get out of Mr. Flivel's head and watch your movie! Three, two, one, go. Lorimar Motion Pictures. 
Hey, Lorimar, isn't that the same company that did, like, TGIF shows? Yes, I think so. This was a TGIF show, you didn't know that? Yeah, it was heavily edited. <laughs> Jaleel White is actually the guy who's driving this Jeep. Department of Army and Toxic Waste? Hey, when they when they dropped the trioxin <clears throat> barrel by accident, Jaleel White, Urkel, is like, Did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're like, we got to clean this up. And Michelle's like, you got it, dude. <laughs> and then, no, they, they do it again. And they're explaining it to Uncle Jesse. And he's like, have mercy. <laughs> Sean Hunter comes in. You lied to Topanga. <laughs> oh, Doc wrong. is in this. I didn't know. They got somebody else besides Christopher Lloyd to play him, though. No, that's Doc from uh, Freddy's Dead. <laughs> oh, and there's Jesse. You're right. Jesse is in the movie. Thor's in the movie. Good lord. <laughs> Listening to some generic rock and roll. Couldn't get the rights to anything that people actually listen to. Oh, they probably made this song specifically for this scene. Right. This is how they haul around the most toxic shit in the world that causes bio. Yeah, one uh, strap. One strap in the back of a truck. They might as well have the guy who's hauling the mattress around on the highway. He's like holding it on top of his car with one arm. It's not even tied down. This is the cut scene from the opening credits of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. This is the. You worst... didn't think he got there in a taxi all the whole trip, did you? This is the worst military person ever. He's smoking a joint while he's listening to headphones while in a military-grade vehicle, hauling some of the most hazard... They had to destroy Atlanta, the whole city of Atlanta, like, city. earlier because of this shit. At least he knows how to pass it. Oh, yeah, pass the Dutch. I, hey, that, his partner's in good hands, you know, out of uh, ass, gas, or grass, you know? He brought the grass, so... So I always, whenever I've seen this movie before, I always assumed that like, oh, he's got his headphones in, so he's not going to hear the barrel drop, right? That's what they're trying to, like, right? That's is what they're it? Trying to, I don't know. Well, that's what is they're not. He's not going to hear the barrel drop because he's got the headphones in. But then I noticed that he actually had someone riding with him, so the yeah. other guy doesn't have headphones in. He must have heard it. What the hell's wrong with him? Well, he keeps passing him the joint. The other guy's so stoned. He, he's like, "Did you hear that? Oh, never mind. That was me." <laughs> He's like, I didn't hear anything besides my heartbeat, man. I think there's some cops behind us in a military vehicle. That's our partners, man. Oh, okay, then they are. Did you ever feel like this movie specifically reminded you of Creep Show 2? Like, this reminds me of that movie for some reason, the way it's shot right here. Man, looking at it now, yeah, but back in the day, I saw Creep Show 2 as a kid, and for years. I would have like a nightmare about that part, the raft one, that Stephen King one, where mm -hmm. that black sludge pulls him through. And I, I would remember the class ring going through the raft. And oh, I was like, through... where is that from? And then I finally realized it when I was like 20. I was like, oh, Creep Show 2. Okay, since we're talking about Creep Show 2, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it to our, everybody's attention if they haven't thought of this already. The guy who at the end of that skit is like, I beat you, I beat you. And then the blob eats him oh. off the, the water. He laid that girl down on the dock to die while he tried to rape her. That guy yep. deserved everything he got. Yep. In a way, she was part of that sludge at that point, so she kind of got revenge. Yeah. I'm this sure actually was... does feel like the beginning. Oh, go ahead. What? I'm sure she was able to, you know, fully enjoy her revenge, Josh, <laughs> while she was being digested. <laughs> but yeah, this does feel like the beginning of Creep Show too. An annoying little kid with a comic book. They He's must going used, into the dude. They garden. must use the same cameras. Like this looks, and it's the same. You know, year just about it's eighty eight. They're on their way to the Nintendo Championships. Man, come on! They're yeah, gonna they're play gonna Mario run. Brothers three. Super Mario Brothers three. And they're gonna run into Lucas with the fucking power glove because it's so bad. I was trying to throw the Wonder Years in there into our TGIF lineup there. What would you do? Man, they kind of got, like, towards the end, or, like, the later seasons of Wonder Years, they kind of shit-canned Paul's character. He was, like, yeah. they kind of replaced him with... Well, he was starting Giovanni his career as... He was starting his career as Marilyn Manson. 
Yeah, he had to have his surgery to have his ribs taken out of his uh, you know, stomach so he yeah. could suck his own dick, you know. Yeah. What would you do if I walked in a tomb? There's uh there's uh okay, so in the my, the hometown I grew up in Coos Bay, uh, it's a small town on the Oregon coast. There is a cemetery that looks like this on a high school campus. Like on I campus. Yeah. I wonder it's like if it's a Civil the same War one. No, this this is definitely filmed in the South. <laughs> Coos Bay's not in the South, Josh. You live in the South. You should know. Don't that. go in there, man. You're gonna end up in the desert world with Bowser. Yeah, he's war he's gonna warp to, he's to gonna another warp. To another film, he's actually he actually wants to warp out of this film. He warps in the creep show too, and can't realize. He Am I in the same place? Yeah, he ends up on Tubi, <laughs> the free streaming app. Yes. <laughs> I think he's right there hiding in all that grass right in front of us, but I'm not sure. Andy Dufresne is crawling by, <laughs> escaping Shawshank at the coming at out this clean. Exact moment. Oh, man, this part's going to give me nightmares. You know, these movies were made by the guy that helped make the original Night of the Living Dead. I didn't know that he made them. I thought that he wrote them. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying he helped make them what they were. Uh, He got the rights to the Living Dead name, and then uh, George Romero went with the dead, like Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Well, the Dawn of the Dead series and the Day of the Dead stuff's a lot more serious. Um, and I like those movies, but the Return of the Living Dead, I really like the first two's tone. I like the comedic, kind of dark. They remind me of Evil Dead 1 and 2, where they're, the second one's kind of a requel, more than a sequel. Oh, God. One of the... One of the oh, God. Tar Man. This is the same guy who uh, played Tar Man in the first one, actually. It's the same guy. Tar Man gave me so many nightmares. And they all commit suicide. Oh, never mind. It's just Roseanne waiting for another season. <laughs> you're wait, running you're saying, out of sitcoms. Wait, oh, okay, because we were doing TJF. I was yeah. like, hey, are you saying Tar Man looks like Roseanne? I was just trying to think of another show. <laughs> Uh, step by step, uh, sister, sister. Oh, another good show. My my bad. Man, step by step. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. That that was a glorious show. Rutro Raggy, some mystery incorporated. Okay, so he's wearing. Okay, so he's wearing a green coat, and Tom Matthews is wearing a red vest. They have a little bit of a werewolf in London or werewolf, you know, American werewolf vibe going on with these color choices. Well, he's taking him with him. He's got to make sure that Jason is dead once and for all. He's got to make sure he's in that grave, man. Yeah. Well, he can't bring Horshack with him this time because he's fucking dead. That was a very disheartening scene, by the way. <laughs> he had his chest. He had his chest caved in in one punch by C.J. Graham. Never heard of the guy. She's not even, like, this is before satellite radio. This is before smartphones. She's just going to go back to that fucking van and be bored out of her mind. Meanwhile, back in the Crypt Keeper's basement. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, kitties. <laughs> Hello, foils <laughs> and ghouls. <laughs> James Karen, this guy right here on the right, who he was in, uh, he was in Poltergeist. He's the one who moved the headstones. Uh, he and they built on the you know Indian burial ground. He's the one who opened the trioxin in the first one of these. He's gonna screw this up too. This guy is your go-to horror movie starter. <laughs> he, he sees an ad, he one ad for an actor in a movie. We need someone to play a fuck up. <laughs> we. I'm we your need a, man. Yeah, we need a gigantic <laughs> fuck up. And then also for 10, 10, 20 years down the line, we want you to be the one that hires Will Smith in pursuit of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I had never seen him in anything else until pursuit of happiness. And he was like a hundred years old in that movie, by the way. 
What is this kid up to, man? Seriously. No clue. But I mean, if he gets out of here, right? And he's if he gets to the top of this, where's he going? I don't know. Oh, screw like, that. Okay, that that would traumatize any kid for the rest of their life. And this kid's like, ooh, it's a mouse. Yeah, exactly. but here's Josh. Here's a question. Um, that guy must have like seriously not sprung for like the Econo or like the really good casket because that thing crumb. It's in a fucking mausoleum. There's no way there was that much dry rot. And what are these guys up to again? They're gonna they're grave robbers. They're gonna go like pull these graves open and try to get shit. I think oh, the main this kid beat us to it. We got to go to the next tomb. These guys are actually descendants of the Trump family. Oh my god! It's alive. Or I'm gonna call the police and then kick your ass and then call the cops again. <laughs> and yeah, and I'm not really gonna call the police because I gotta fuck things up really quick here and destroy this town we just showed up in. What a shame. The kid fucked things up before I got here. Tom Matthews' hair is feathered and lethal in this film. Look at that nice little... That little waft he's got going in the front there. Meanwhile, next door to the cemetery with the huge crypt, the neighborhood. What is it with aerobics movies in 80s horror films? They did this in... Friday the 13th, part four. Axel, it's a free you were the... Set, man. Yeah. Troll 2, man, had it too. Axel, you are the Super Bowl of self-abuse, you son of a bitch. Now come over here. I want to have sex with you. Mom said follow your butt? What? She looks like Jennifer Love Hewitt, but it's, but it's not, obviously, but it definitely looks like her. Like if Jennifer Love Hewitt was... Uh... An 80s star instead of a 90s star. I'm almost positive Jennifer Love Hewitt was on Kids Incorporated. Oh, this kid's so got it coming. Gee, we, we really need to get to that championship. Now we're playing with power. Yeah, no shit. Uh, red blinking faster usually means bad, so maybe pull your face away from that. Yeah, these are not these are not real kids from the eighties. We had smarts. Hey, it's car exhaust. He doesn't even like try to move away. He just stands. He's like, "Oh, there's smoke blowing in my face. Let me suck it in." Over. Yeah, let me lean more into it. Hey, do you feel like you're turning into a zombie slowly? No? Okay, I guess it's just me. Why did the military, if this is so dangerous, put, like, a tube with a perfect venting system to allow the stuff to escape in a nice stream? No, this is actually, we're on the island from Lost right now. The smoke, the, the smoke monster is going to go claim a soul. No, that smoke is actually the gas from the fat guy who ate all the food on the island. Unlocked. That is not even the same color as it was a second ago, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I remember Return of the Living Dead 2. Have some class. John Carpenter's like, they stole it. They stole my idea. Why are they focusing on, on, on this angel statue oh. so much? <laughs> Scared me. Oh my god, it's a storm and it's got that 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 lightning they've been using since the Universal Monster movies in it. That looked like stock footage from the first film. I think they just ripped that. For, they, that also looks like it from the is. first film. Can we at least get footage of Leia Quigley you yeah, know, coming like, off the tomb naked? Can we get Trash, that? for some reason, is naked again in here. Yeah, um, this, this pops up on the screen. The stock footage, the person who directed all seven Carnosaurs also worked on this film. We're gonna reuse footage. Uh oh, is that is that the screw lady? That is the screwdriver. Get that screwdriver out of my damn head. You ever cold packed? Dude, this is no, just stop. Stop. This isn't what cold people have in mind when they talk about that, not not this. Wait, wait, wait. 
Why are they want a head? Yeah, what are they taking the heads for again? I don't think they I don't think that they really understand what grave robbing is what you're supposed to do. They're, <laughs> they're like they're like the underpants gnomes. They're like, first we get the heads and then profit. <laughs> there is no step two. Don't don't get the ring or the gold watch. Just get get the fingers, the head, and maybe a knee or two. Okay, why? now he's taking the jewelry, but why did he take the head? I don't know. And why did, did he the have to cut tell him? Why did he have to cut the person's finger off to take the ring off? He couldn't just slide it off? No. <laughs> I've got to, listen, before I do any grave robbing, I've got to desecrate as many human remains as possible here. That's how it's done in the business. You'll learn, Tom Matthews. My wife told me if I got home early, I'd get a little head. Well, joke's on her. I already got it. No, seriously, why the, are they just literal grave robbers that just go in there and steal body parts? There's a nice leg up here. Oh, that's a good year for heads. I do like the uh, stormy aesthetic, though. Uh, if I was in this kid's room right now, I'd be asleep because I listen to rain and storms when I go to bed. <laughs> <gasps> is that a, uh, is that the comic from the movie we were talking about? Trioxin Man? What the hell is this? Master, Master Man. Man. Yeah. Jinx, you owe me a cup. You're never going to get it. Coke doesn't come into this house, buddy. I'm a Pepsi man. I want a Pepsi then. Uh. Oh, man. The real sugar glass bottle. You're living the good life over there, you oh, rich yeah. bastard. <laughs> Only Read rich. Read my mind. Read my mind. What am I thinking? Only rich people drink out of glass bottles, Josh. Yeah. Uh, they've been over in that freaking graveyard area for quite some time now. Did you used to help your friend take off on his bicycle in the middle of the storm whenever no. you were a kid? <laughs> no, and I don't remember having to push start bicycles either. You had to push start a car. He just took the train and wheels off. He's so proud of his boy. <laughs> yeah, he's like, start pedaling, you dumb son of a bitch. I can't do everything. God, I really should have used the bathroom before I left. Yeah, you know what I don't like about a lot of military personnel in these horror movies from the 80s? None of them have regulation haircuts, and it bugs the piss out of me. It's Tar Woman and Tar Boy. Tarzan Boy. Oh, 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 oh. Get Tarzan. Okay, maybe the Colonel should have a mask on too, because apparently, you know, they need to have a you know a full body suit on to even deal with these containers. I'm keeping my eye on your butt, like Mom said. She's the worst babysitter ever. I'm following your butt. It's just aerobics and telephones with this woman. Sorry, stepped in dog shit. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, it was the movie. My bad. Like, was he wiping dog shit off or what? I mean... He wasn't like doing a regular wiping the mud off your shoes. It was like one of those things where you're like scraping the shoe off on like the side of the concrete and you still can't get it off there. Everybody knows what that's like. Well, he accidentally stepped in this movie script. Right. And it, it was sticking to the bottom of his shoes. Hi there, generic 80s boyfriend whose name is probably Chad. Yeah, remember what I said about Tom Matthews' hair being feathered and lethal? I take it all back when I saw this guy. The guy's wiping mud off his shoes, but he's not got a drop of rain on him. I know, his hair is, like, perfectly quaffed, too. It's not wet at all. I want to go hang back out at that creepy graveyard. This kid cannot stay home. What the hell is wrong with him? He's not feeling too well. I killed him. Wait a second. Wait a second. He's got his homework assignments, right? Weren't they doing stuff after school? Why wouldn't yeah. he have already had his school assignments? 
They're doing a report on uh, how to become a zombie in three days. They're doing a report on uh, plot holes, and he's going to come and try to help them fill them in. What? Did you ever lay in bed with just a thermometer in your mouth the whole time? No. (laughs) We're going to have to get you some Campbell's soup, son. Oh, dude, orange Gatorade in a glass bottle, 7-Up, and crackers. Back Dude, he's I'm... already a zombie. Yeah. Kill him. Ooh, he's got two of the formula there. Ask, grass, or gas. You shut up about this, or else. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you this COVID. That kid, if that's the line that the director decided to stick with, I can't imagine what the other lines were that he delivered before. Like, how, what the inflection was like if that was the one they chose to go with. He's, I'm, I'm telling you, he's lousy. See that kid? He knows what that boy's got. He's prepared. Yeah, this kid was masking up uh, following CDC guidelines before it was even, you know, cool, man. Yeah, he's got, he's got the plastic coverage on the eyes, got the mask on. New reports say uh, wearing two masks will give you double the protection, and I'm like, no shit. Yeah, and actually, there's a new report that says three masks is also better than two. But they're also uh, trying to decide if four masks is also better than three, so. I tried calling that number one time. It was a suicide hotline. <laughs> they're, they're like, like you, they're, they're like, you want, <laughs> you're going to say it, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, oh, so you're what, you rented this movie, huh? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> we totally understand. God damn tar, man. I'm not going to sleep tonight. Not that I can sleep good here anyways, where Master Evil's keeping me. Man, two Tar little, Man's two, eyes. He's got, he's got two little monsters bugging me all the time. Tar Man's eyes are like, seriously, like headlights in this one. Oh, I can't stand Tar Man. Smart kid. Oh, you're Puddle Man now, bitch. So that little kid was able to outsmart Tar Man, but Suicide, the leader of the punk rock gang, just immediately gets murdered by Tar yes. Man. <laughs> Let's come up with a more generic names for a Superman comic in a movie. They already got Master Man. What's another one? Superb Man? Equal than or lesser than man. Genuine Man? Suitable Man. <laughs> Le- legitimate man adequate man <laughs> that's me <laughs> okay you got <laughs> just it just me on me with a bath towel and a clothespin around my neck <laughs> running around the living room man man oh my god it's adequate man strong enough to do almost something possibly if he gets around to it run like south park uh hindsight captain hindsight's <laughs> I do love the, uh, I love this part of the movie. I, there's not much I can say. Michael Jackson's not even on set yet. You're fucking up the shots. So I, I watched a behind the scenes documentary about this. It's called More Brains. Yeah. And apparently they had like there's leather nine thing. people play like all the zombies. So there's different zombies, but they play multiple zombies in it. <clears throat> so I'm just assuming that <clears throat> none of these people were buried in coffins. This was a this was a discount cemetery. That was a simpler time, Josh. You just take your dead, bury them the in ground. very soft dirt, like three feet down. Like three, yeah, two or three feet in the dirt, just throw yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. And it, well, it saved on money, and you know the grave diggers had a lot of dead bodies to attend to, and they just didn't have time to do a proper you know situation there. It'll save your family money, but. You might end up waking sometime in the future, hungering for brains. Sign on the dotted line. Oh, oh, I get it, because she needs glasses. Some of the humor just doesn't land. Oh, that one did. All these people are showing up to uh, comment in the Slash Tracks episodes. All the trolls have arrived. Oh, I get it, because he stepped on his hand a second ago. Oh, you got us. They got us with that one. 
with a zinger. It's the return of the non-landing jokes, part two. So, wait. wait a minute. She, she's been in the van that long, Josh? She's mm -hmm. still in the van? In the van down by the river. Where'd she go to the bathroom? Has she eaten anything? That's a totally different movie, buddy. Tom Matthews in there drinking coffee and cutting off dead bodies' heads. He's going to have a sandwich, an egg salad sandwich. His hot-ass girlfriend's out there in the van with dead bodies running all around. Man, this guy they got, he's got work to do. He's got a bunch of, uh, of corpses to desecrate, cut their heads off, and bag them. They're literal grave robbers. Yeah, that boyfriend of the year material. And it, by the way, how did Tom Matthews find out about this job opportunity? Did he just an answer a want ad or Craigslist ad? How to, hey, grave, grave digger, uh, grave digger wanted, grave robber. <laughs> you want to get ahead in life or ahead in a bag? Hey, like this job. That was the first callback from the first movie, by the way. They just repeated the same line. A lot of the same actors. I love the, the morticians in the first one. Gonna take off all my clothes. Shit. I was hoping that's what her line was. Is she this girl is gorgeous. <laughs> They're more vocal. The zombies are more vocal yes, in this they movie. Are. The van, the van's right over there. Oh my god. I'm starting to think you're not want you're not somebody trying to steal the van. That guy had the worst white head ever. It was very satisfying though to see yeah, it she pop. Was, she was doing him a favor. She's this is Dr. Pipple Popper before the TV show. You know that grave we were gonna rob? <laughs> no, it's really Jesus, and he's full of holes. Why is his head so small? That's your question? Yeah. That's your question in this scenario? <laughs> <laughs> Why is your head so small? I know you're a corpse coming back to life, but what the fuck is up with your head? Oh, yeah, that don't kill him in this movie, does it? No. My head was already small enough, you jackass. You know what he looks like? Uh, Toad from uh, the Mario Brothers movie with uh, Dennis Hoskins. Dennis or Hopper is Bowser. Wait, with the principal from Saved by the Bell? <laughs> Bob Hoskins. <laughs> Bob Hoskins and Dennis Hopper. I got him combined. Dennis Hopper. Yeah, that, <laughs> that guy looked like Toad from that. Fuck you. I don't have to outrun them. I got to outrun you, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't have to be the fastest person here. I just have to beat you. You heard that fair joke, eh? He, yeah, I have. And also, where is his fine-ass girlfriend? He should be worried about her and not James Karen. He's already 80 at this point of the film anyway. Well, they're, they're in for a rude awakening. She gave the van away to a zombie. Not to mention, it's Tuesday. He always takes off on Tuesdays and gets a massage. Man, they are, like, really overacting right here. They're, like, overacting? Really? Yes, he thinks we're acting. We did it. We did it. Okay, stay here, then. Fuck you. Yeah, knock him down. Leave him there. Alex, if we're ever running away from zombies and you start doing that, I'm just going to say, all right, buddy. Thanks it's been a good run. Yeah, it's been a good run. <laughs> Keep on praying. At whatever number of episodes we've done at that point. You know, 21 episodes. That's a good, good run. That's a good run. There'll be no season two. We should have a season. <laughs> our, season our season one is just indefinite. For there you go. Oh, 
Billy, if you didn't want to do your homework. This kid's direction by the director is like, just scream. And be every scene you're in. As annoying as possible. What about the makeup for him? Just make it look like he rolled around in dog <laughs> shit. Can you do that? <laughs> Ooh, dog shit. I'm trying to eat cake. Fuck you. Wait that- a minute. Wait a minute. He was covered in mud like two seconds ago. Did she bathe him? Yes. He's like 12. Yes, she bathed him. Mom thought you had to walk, keep follow my butt. I follow yours. How's that for gender swapping? No, seriously. Did she give him a bath? or or? Oh, and there's another question. If she didn't give him a bath, are we supposed to believe that she wiped off all that mud with one washcloth? They're working in a Downey commercial into the movie to show you how, <laughs> how absorbent it is. Jesus. They're like, three rolls of the normal generic paper towel gets this much mud off. One square of just, Downey. Wait, was that guy just standing in, sitting in his house watching TV with his shotgun? Well. Just, somebody's going to be out there. I just know it. That guy is old man Peabody, and people have been trying to steal his pine trees. Like, seriously, at the first noise he hears outside, he just charges out with the shotgun, you know? Kid, if you want to get out of your room, just climb out the window. That guy with the shotgun, his first name is actually Karen. Gotcha. Yeah, he's a MAGA supporter, for uh, for all you uh, people who don't know what I was talking about. We just lost half of our listener viewers now. Thank you. Hey, if there are <laughs> Trump supporters watching Slash Tracks, I love it. We'll explain the jokes a little more. See, look, he's wearing a red polo. He's also a MAGA supporter. <laughs> we just lost our show. We've been canceled. <laughs> canceled? How the hell are we going to cancel ourselves? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. They don't. They're the ones that are always getting canceled. We're we're good. We're good. We just got picked up. Yeah, we actually just got renewed. <laughs> right. For five more seasons. Ooh, she called me Mr. Wilson. I'm gonna go get me a little child neighbor to to be a humbug about all the time now. Mr. Wilson. I actually like Dennis the Menace, the movie from the 90s. Uh, I love that movie. That yeah. is like one of the best movies ever. That's one of John Hughes' last good films he made. It's another van. That's all I know how to drive. Get in. Hey, man, he's, it's like when you choose, you know, women or men or whatever, whatever, you know, you have a type. He likes mm-hmm. vans. He's a van man. Hey, there's another one for our list of uh, names of a fake Superman, van man. Van man was my nickname in junior high and high school. Everybody John Claude called, Van Man. Everybody that was your name, van. Van, man? Van, van man? Van Man. My last name is Vanover. All I heard was van, and then over. The the military, like, needs people to call in that these barrels that will, like, you know, destroy entire cities and turn them into zombies. There's no uh, caller ID for the military at this point. If you hang up, you're just fucked. It was a prank call. call. It was just a prank call. Yeah, there's no Star 69 in 1988. You were just, the military can't even figure it out at this point. Is this like a brand new community that just has nobody's like sodded their their yards yet? It looks like a new my wife. Well, that was fast acting to Nacton. What what is growing out of her face? Worms. I don't know because I haven't figured out what I saw either. Okay. Here's your direction. Run around and go, ah, ah, as much as you can. <laughs> Maybe. Have, have have the two grave robbers had the, the stuff get in their face yet? I don't even think they have, have they? 
They were there when it was spreading across the thing. Yeah, but it doesn't show them. They never got knocked out. It never showed them breathe it in. How can you follow my butt if you're in front of me? And get them on me. <laughs> the only person whose her hands are supposed to be on is my package. Now get out of here. I'm trying to. Install my hair package. looks better. No, my hair looks better. Does my hair look better than this other guy's? <laughs> no, does it? it doesn't. But you're still Please tell me it does. I just shook it. Did it? Did it move? He's getting head from my head. Well, you know, in all of his years of chopping heads off in mausoleums, he never had one move before. This one's going to be worth a lot. That fucking thing bit my finger when we were taking pictures for the photo for the for the backdrop. Yeah, dude. fucking damn thing. Just like that. I learned my lesson, dude. Convenient way for it to land. <laughs> Head up, staring at them. Heads or necks? I don't think he has a tool in his uh, cable installation <laughs> right. belt that's going to be able to fix this situation. Here we go. With my favorite. I'm I'm perplexed on how she's talking with no vocal cords, but hey, it's a movie. It's just a movie. Yeah, no wind or anything in it because it doesn't have lungs. If it made sense, Master Evil wouldn't make us watch it. You little fucker. Man, the cable company is like insistent on their installation process, man. They they're gonna get it done. When they show up anyway. You were supposed to rake my yard. I've got super glue on my hand. Shit, it's not my fault. God, you know how much that would hurt the way he was cutting his hair right there? You hear about that pulling. woman that sprayed Gorilla Glue in her hair? No, but I can only imagine. How would you even get that out? Just a bunch of Look it up after peanut we're done. butter? Look it up after we're done. You had to get surgery. I'm not even making this shit up. All right, Josh, do your line. Do your line. You know what you line? want to say it. What? When people put stuff in front of doors. Oh, yes, yes, yes. If you can put it in front of the door that easily, they're going to move it just as easy. Come on now. I saw the plates and I was like, am I making a joke about commemorative plates from the 80s? What am I well, supposed to say? They need to be careful, man. Those are Danbury Mint. <laughs> Those are limited edition, one of 50,000. So many commemorative plates from back yeah. then, man. Yeah, those are those are uh, 16th plated, you know, quarter, you know, 18th inch gold. I know a screwdriver through the head doesn't do anything, but I'm going to try this poker. The fire poker. The guy from the staircase is like, well, that well worked just fine. Wall Street had a bad day. The Dow is down. Those are the people. Those are the CEOs for Robin Hood. Uh, GameStop has come back to collect. Your hair. I just can't take my eyes off of you. Now yeah, even a zombie knows where it's at. Uh, he's going to have an issue, though, because he, he's not going to have any blood flow. He can't get an erection. He's dead. Okay, I made a joke about Roseanne earlier, but that one zombie in the kitchen kind of looked like Roseanne in the face. Uh, Dan and stuff. Uh, hey, it's Roseanne, Dan and stuff. Uh, hey, are there zombies in here and stuff? Uh, like, uh, zombies, uh, Dan? Rosie, go take a few more of them pills. <laughs> Try not to die. Oh, 
oh, oh, you zinger, zinger. I'd be like, it's not time for the fucking one-liners, brother. I just, and on top of that, you should be more thankful. I just washed your entire body with a washcloth less than an hour ago. I'll do it again. Bye, God. So, what's my direction for this movie, boss? Just be <laughs> annoying fucker saying no and praying all the time. Be the biggest whiny bitch that you could possibly... Basically look like someone who just started working out again for the first time. <laughs> okay, watch this episode of Slash Track. See the guy with the baseball cap turned around? Just sound like him the whole time. You son of a bitch. Are you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. See? It's, it's identical. I can't even tell the difference. Oh. Wait. How does he even still have liquid in his body? He's been dead for years. You found my only weakness, drywall and, and, and stove irons. That definitely wasn't somebody's arm sticking through the wall. I'm about to say, if she's making a phone call, I'm calling bullshit. We need to put that thermometer back in his mouth a little bit. He's not getting any better. Uh, George is going to be able to talk to you, lady. George had his brains. Ooh, ooh, why are we seeing this? We already know what goes on in the 12-year-old's bedroom. We don't need to see it in a movie. Uh, that's, this isn't that realistic. Was, that Josh, was a good one, apparently. <laughs> Josh, if he, was, yeah, if he was actually masturbating in there, uh, first of all, it's not realistic because he'd be hiding and he'd have the faucet sink on. He'd be yeah, and, and flushing the toilet over and every, over again. Every noise he hears. Mom? <laughs> yeah is that you is that you yeah that's not realistic keep you hiding in the bathroom running the water come on is this woman like from csi miami because every scene she rips those glasses off her face like she just said a one-liner uh at the before the credits roll on csi miami god that, that one zombie with those worms crawling out of her face is a pig man she's looks not like sharing a, any it looks like a good day to die this scene disturbs me also. Hair. What was that look? That felt well, nice. Uh, yeah, like uh, that was uh that was That's a like, satisfying crunch. Well, and it wouldn't kill her. There's no way that he that's ridiculous. What are his teeth super strong now that he can that he's dead? That old man there with the pipe before they came up, he's like, Mom? The joke is that old men and young boys. This is actually, hey, this is Mr. Feeney. Really? It looks like Bill Maher in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Look at him. It does. <laughs> New rules. You don't barge into my house and pick me up like that. Jesus don't exist. He's just doing one-liners. He's Henny. They they accidentally showed up to Henny Youngman's house. Henny Youngman and Bill Maher, love yeah, child. Yeah. They're like, fuck, we accidentally went to the Rickles uh, estate. Hey, now. That's politically incorrect. This is real time. Hey. What? <laughs> he was he's a doctor he, he was obviously in charge of his death wait isn't typo the universal donor josh don't trouble yourself with okay types. you know okay. that they, the writer had no idea what he was talking <laughs> about. we were out of type k the type z oh oh clever and you didn't even mean to. We got bigger problems. That car only has one headlight, Josh. Hey, there's the song that Slasher Pepper uses in his videos. Shout out to Slasher Pepper right there. Check out his channel. Ha ha! Ha ha, asshole, you're dead and I'm not. 
Josh, this is actually me and you when we're together, and people recognize us as the boys from Slash Tracks. We people just chase us down the road, man. Autographs. No, it's like, babies. oh, hi, Cecilia. <laughs> we only got one fan. That was my joke. No, Tony's a fan too. Our boy Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Cecilia. Yeah, what's up, guys? Thank oh, you hi, for Jason. Watching. Hi, Jason. Josh, we have tons of fan. We have so many fan. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, hell. Perfect brain biting uh, location right there. Everybody's like, and we finally got him to stop going, no, 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 no. Yeah, James Karen in a two tour de force performance. No one has ever said no so many times. I give it one thumb up. My other hand was chopped off in the window. It's a pretty good practical effect, though. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. That's great puppetry. Bill Maher. I swear to God, that's all I see now. Oh, man. New rule. You're going to lose a hand in my car and attack me with it. Make sure you're not a lefty. They throw actually, the hand. actually, I prefer a left hand, not a right one. Hey, they throw the hand out the window and it goes back it, like T-1000 and, you know, melts and jo rejoins the zombie's hand body. <laughs> Look. Anybody want to guess? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what everybody's saying to the movie right now. Anybody get the Bill Maher joke while you'd be okay with a left hand but not a right hand? Damn, Doc, hey, that man. He's got a typo. Type M, type moonshine. They don't need to go to the emergency room. The Doc needs to have an emergency beer run. Looks back. Oh, you guys look sick. Uh, let me check something. Oh, God damn it, we're out of typo. Sorry, you're fucked. Go join Mr. Carmen or whatever his name was. Us? Others? <laughs> Ooh, Doc's gonna, get, Doc's gonna get pulled. Yeah, he's getting pulled over, man. He's missing a headlight. Maybe the cop will let it slide on account of being a sweet-ass ride. <laughs> He's like, if you didn't have those fins on the back of this baby, <laughs> you'd be going to jail tonight. Thank God you have such good taste. Good thing you're driving around in your hot rod Lincoln. Lincoln. Great. All I said was... I couldn't think of a good word there. I wonder if she has denim underwear on as well. <laughs> they go into one room of the hospital and say, where is everyone? I don't know. I just wanted to say yes, because this other guy is only saying no constantly. Josh, I just had another thought about what the doctor looks like. What? He looks like an older Jim Varney. Like he, and he kind of reminds me of Ernest. You know what I mean, Burn? Hey, do you think Jim Varney had given it, given the proper role that he could have won an Academy Award? Oh, he was an amazing actor. He was a good actor. Now go lay down in your bed for 12 hours with that thermometer in your mouth. You'll feel better. Mm, those are eyes. <laughs> you haven't stolen a head lately, have you? <laughs> Just as I thought. Eyeballs. <laughs> Just as I thought. Over actor. That's a tongue. It's a tongue. Man, I would love to have a popsicle on a on a popsicle stick that size. Can you imagine how big that popsicle would be? <laughs> if we're lucky, it's cancer. <laughs> Wait, who took the car back out? <laughs> that is a phenomenal line. 
Yes, yes, yes. Is it cancer? Oh, God, if we're lucky. Right, that's... Oh, the boyfriend had to go out for more hairspray. He's like, I cannot let my hairstyle uh, be affected because of a zombie apocalypse. She looked like Mindy from Mork and Mindy. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I'm trying to think of more shows. It, I can't stop. Mork and Mindy wasn't on TJF. Pew. No, but it's a show, and it was thirty minutes. You're like, and it was... had like people in it that did lines and were part of a production. <laughs> you know, you dummy. They I don't on think TV. Roseanne. Roseanne wasn't TGIF. I uh, was on. Wasn't Wonder okay. Years wasn't. He, Roseanne was on ABC, and I'm pretty sure TGIF was on ABC. Well, Wonder Years wasn't. Wonder Years was on. I, I'm pretty sure Wonder Years was on ABC. They hey, zombies! On... Hey, zombies! Over here! Over here! Hey, you know how we've been looking for people, Alex, to help yeah. us? Yeah. Well, there's a whole bunch of people shambling down the road over there. Let's holler for them to help us. Where the hell is everyone else in the town? There's They're nobody else. They're all dead. They don't have a SAG card. Yeah. Wait, these guys, some of these, I mean, James Karen and Tom Matthews are just screaming and running around the whole time. They're still alive. What did the like, rest of the townspeople act like? That guy on the back looked like Jim Carrey, I swear to God. It might have been Jim Carrey. At this time, his career wasn't exactly exploding. <laughs> he like did that Duck Factory TV show about this time. Yeah, he was in Once Bitten a couple years before this. Oh, God. Hush, we're going to have to watch that. Oh, that movie is a genuine shitter, and I actually like it. Hey, they're totally driving in a car right now and not just sitting still. <laughs> I I think we've already touched on this before, but like driving scenes in movies where they have the steering wheel, and, and they're just, just going back and forth. Yeah, they're just going everywhere with the wheel. I'd love just one movie to zoom out and just show the car going all over the road. <laughs> yeah, hitting everything, hitting everything, hitting everything. Yes. And we're back in the house again. No, I think they're at like a no. Where the hell are they? Apparently. Somebody that has guns. She's like, yeah, not only do I know how to uh, do jazzercise, I can also, I'm, you know, fluent in, you know, weapons, too. Take the gun and follow my butt. Let's, let's not take any extra ammo with us. Yeah, that Mork is a disgusting space alien. Let's go get him. This lady, if this, is, if this really is Mindy, she's had a rough time. She's met aliens, she's meeting zombies, she's meeting shitty actors, she's meeting terrible scripts. She's had a rough go. It's only 1988 at this point. Yep, and that boy knows more about guns than most people, apparently. He's going to shoot his dick off. What is going on from the waist down there? They actually just had their first read through of the script. This is this is live footage of them seeing what they're going to act in. They tried to find something better. <laughs> yeah. My sag dues were in the rears. I had to take a role, any role. They're like they told us it was one movie, and now we're having to do another one. <laughs> they did such a good job in the first one that they were brought back, and then they just decided to just phone this one in. They are awful in this movie. I oh, know, man, it's bad. They are amazing in the first one. Maybe they were like sued. Like, nope. When you signed the contract, it was for four hours. A four-hour movie. You had to do two more hours. Oh God! They they signed on for a Godfather length zombie movie. <laughs> yes, the Z Father. Yeah, they're like, well, we could we got the whole plot in in two hours, so we're just gonna have to redo the whole thing again. Yeah, well, the virgin birth is silly. She just wanted to go dancing. Instead, she had to run from zombies all night, sat in a damn van all day. She's having the worst day ever. They're not breathing, man, but they're making wheezing noises and stuff. <laughs> no breathing, but they're able to do that. 
Macaulay Culkin getting ready to set some more traps. Yeah, he's he's looking for the perfect spot to hang the paint cartons or the paint, you know, the paint, <laughs> paint buckets. Yes, the buckets. Oh yeah, that'd be a hell of a zombie flick. Yeah, he's he's trying to figure out where he needs to put the micro machines in the hospital. The world is ready for a Home Alone remake where Macaulay Culkin plays one of the vandals. <laughs> we need it. It's the casting director. I smell bad actors. God, look at this guy's hair. He was buried in a suit with hair like that. I thought it was they, a woman. They didn't cut his hair before his funeral, apparently. Or he, I don't your know. Your hair grows after you die for a little while. Not and that fingers, much. Dude. Actually, it looks like it does because your head shrinks. Oh, wait, you're in this movie. No brains. That was a gunshot, you dumb bitch. What the fuck did it sound like? That was a pigeon. That was a pigeon. Pancreases. I guess I don't have the same ring to it. Gallbladders. Aspirin. <laughs> okay, what does that button do? What does Nothing. What does big lit up button do? Nothing. <laughs> He's playing Simon. What the hell? Wait, they, why did they focus on that button and he didn't touch it? I don't know, man. What the hell was the point of that? I thought it was an elevator, but... It didn't do anything. It was totally no reason. It was Simon built into the wall. That is ridiculous. Recoculous. Oh, it worked. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, I oh. thought it was Mork. So did he hit... Okay, so he hit the elevator button to get them down to him? Is that what he was doing or something? Either that or he hit it and it didn't work because they were using it? Maybe. I don't know. Follow but... the butt! I've been saying it the whole movie. There it is. Follow it, your mom said. Spineless Man. creep. That guy is resilient. Nothing will stop him from getting more brains, not even being blown in half. He's only he's only got a half salary, too. They're like, you do realize since you're half a body now, we're only paying you half the amount, right? Half we're gonna, cocks. We're going we're to mail the rest of your check to your asshole. <laughs> Oh, my wife's address is 255. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, we said you're asshole. I know. I know. Mail it to her. You know, they asked Melania if she bleached her asshole, and she said no. He gets a spray tan. Oh, man. Oh, hell. Really? I've been in so many hospitals and I never found the steam release valve next to the elevator. Have you? Did you ever well, find, did you ever locate that? That's in case a doctor has to make a cappuccino in a pinch. Or melt someone's face off for not paying yeah. their hospital. For not having insurance. No insurance, eh? Come here real quick. <laughs> Shh. Welcome to America. We found their weakness. Steam. Oh, never mind. These poor zombies, no mercy. Oh, no, I shouldn't have eaten that head. That's what I look like and sound like after eating Taco Bell on cheat day. Oh, he, oh <laughs> Maxi Mel, oh, nachos. Oh. Were you in this movie? Oh, no. <laughs> See, I, I told you. I told him, man. Nobody believed me. <laughs> it's based off of my, my co-host. You know, you know, this movie is not as bad as I was remembering it. It's not good either, though. It's well. worse. <laughs> <laughs> we would rent this. Seriously, Josh, this was our go-to. Like, five movies, five days for five dollars. This was always in that loop. Jesus. 
Joke's on them. There's a van. Oh, wait, they're the van people. <laughs> That's how I feel and look when Master Evil is trying to tell us what movie we have to watch. I'm like, oh, God, not again. You're not reading his mind. <laughs> hey, Alex, read my mind. What am I thinking? <laughs> You're thinking that you want this last 28 minutes to be over with? Yes. <laughs> that was some good timing on that track. They drove around the block twice, you know, just to make sure the song played out. Didn't you hear the music? It was Dr. Doctor. These look like the National Guards people from Rambo. It's like, <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck that. I'm not dying. I, I do this once a month. Oh, like my ex-wife. <laughs> like, it's soulless. Like, there's nothing to it. There's no substance. Like this movie. <laughs> Let's move out, boys. Don't say more than five lines if we have to get paid more. Yeah, no doubt. And this guy, that haircut is not military issue. Come on. He deserves to die. Eat him. Good. You know how strong Eat. their fucking teeth would have to be to bite through somebody's skull? Do we have that kind of bite ability if we really put our mind to it? Or put it to our mind? Have you ever bit your tongue or your cheek by accident? It hurts like hell. Yeah, but I've never bitten it off. <laughs> Or bit through my jawbone or something. I mean, shit. <laughs> it is the worst pain ever when you do it. And you're not like, of course, you're not expecting it, but it hurts like hell. Well, the good thing is he's no longer screaming no and whining like a little bitch. Yeah, we don't need any more. Okay, we're done with James Karen. See you later. Thanks for coming. Please, God, forgive me. Don't let me become a person that's still alive. What the fuck? It's Black Friday. Oh, yes it is. Yeah, it's like 50% off, like, color TVs, you know, Zeniths back then. We've got, like, a 40% chance of snow, and we hardly ever get it here. I was in a department store earlier in a dream, since I'm a prisoner, and, like, the everybody's, like, in there buying up half the store. It's like, oh, my <laughs> God. These people never been to Colorado. It's like a Monday. <laughs> Oh, I okay, I hate this scene. They're eating the animals. It's okay. They were owned by... I'm not going there. I don't care. I hate... No, I, I'm a big animal person, man. Big animal person. Big animal person. It's good! Straight and true through the uprights. Well, there's our pyro budget for the movie. Let's do it. Let's see it. Here it comes. Right? I don't know. I thought that was the scene that's not coming yet. Uh, he's already dead. That's not going to kill him. See, if they had the other guy, if they had Tom Matthews right there, he would have known how to start the van correctly and drive because he's a van man. <laughs> The, the, the problem is the guy's not a van man. Yeah, that's, pro that's the problem. And, you know, too bad Tom Matthews is turning into a zombie and he doesn't give a shit about vans anymore. Oh, look, there's a little dick. Th this headlight situation, now that it's brought to my attention, is bugging the shit out of me. Oh, God, he caught the disease from his partner. The No, oh, no, 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 no. He's acting like everybody that's ever ridden in the back seat of a car with me. They just immediately get car sick. <laughs> this is he's the reason nobody wants to be an Uber driver. It's he's kind of this kind of customer. Oh, I smoke a lot of weed. There's nothing in there. Here, let me just offer them to you.
Why right. did I want him to like just run up and like kick that person between the legs when he's running behind him? Oh man! All right, Slashaholics, we're coming on the part of the movie that bugs me more than any other part of a horror that film. Part, don't <laughs> the part? No, the part where she lets him eat her brains. It's a fetish, man. It's a brain I, fetish. I also hate the scene in Waxwork where the lady lets the guy whip the living shit out of her back and she, like, loves it. How do you know you've never eaten one before? I've read good things. <laughs> I've heard... I've, uh, my friend told me I'm spicy. He's I'm a spicy a, food connoisseur. I'm in a foodies group on Facebook. You gotta do it. I got a group on. It's still me. Why'd you shake your head like that? Just because a little bit. Right. If that in that case, eat my brains. Look like she had total clarity and found the meaning of life right there. Yeah, she was actually like. Oh my god, this isn't as bad as I read. I read about. It's actually quite enjoyable. Getting the brain sucked out of my skull is <laughs> quite pleasurable. Not that bad. Rich and spicy. <laughs> no, it's clowns. We're shooting at you, we know. I think they, don't they understand. Want... I think they understand. They don't want this film's plot to spread. <laughs> They're stopping it at the source. Right now, this movie is only stage two. If they actually got past that bridge, it would turn into stage three or four. Or, or part five. Yeah, which could lead to really bad, bad films. Or some brains? They're rich that and spicy. That doctor is like the way that I used to be. Like, if I went anywhere, I'd have to have pregame. I'd have to have like three or four drinks before I went anywhere. Oh my God. Let me set my brains down. Freddy Krueger possessed that zombie, apparently. <laughs> Robert England is just trying to make a few bucks on the side. Come to the hospital, bitch. <laughs> kind of looks like Robert England. He's an old president. All you had to do was ask him, are you a zombie? Uh, yeah, obviously that one's pretty honest. Like he, no, <laughs> he didn't sugarcoat anything. He just straight shot straight from the hip. Wait a second. Are you a zombie? <laughs> Alex, are you a zombie? Yes. Okay. I want to <laughs> you eat little your crappy brain. zombie. They're Jeff, rich I'm not, and spicy. I'm not coming to the hospital. <laughs> Damn it. Naughty zombie. <laughs> You'd think she'd pick a gun that was, you know, better than uh, holds two shells. I mean, come Wait on. Wait a second. Does the hospital have elevators with buttons that don't work? Let's go there. We're on our way. They don't have guns, though. It's not really a firefight if you they're not shooting back at you. It's more of a target practice. <laughs> I guess I don't sound as badass. Fuck up. You're an American soldier. We got target practice here. They don't have the same ring to it. All you, I mean, seriously, like you, all you'd have to do is take their legs out. Well, no, because then they, the legs would just start walking on their own. Well, the legs can't eat your brains, Josh. <laughs> then take their head the shit. out. Take their head out then, not their legs. Fuck. You know what? You actually just made a whole lot of sense. <laughs> if you take their fucking head off, they can't eat anything. Exactly. Unless they're. 
Butt cheeks start biting. I don't know. Unless they're like that weird farmer who had a headless chicken and he decided to feed it through an eyedropper into like its spinal cord. Did you hear about that? No. A headless chicken lived for like Oh, oh yeah, I did hear about that. Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, I did. This dude like tried to kill this chicken. Chicken lived. He starts feeding it through an eyedropper through its like head spot where the head used to be. Oh, okay, after a while, that kid needs to quit saying, hey, hey, over here. I know. He's it's not biggest, worked out for him at all. <laughs> the biggest cock block ever. He just keeps fucking himself in the group over. Those zombies drive better than most people in movies when they're like just putting the steering wheel all over the place. <laughs> Jimmy Smits is the worst at that. Watch anything he's in where he's driving, and he's just all over the place. <laughs> what are they loading up? Are they stealing some steaks from the meatpacking plants? No, I think they were getting cow brains. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm bad. Okay, that makes sense. You telling me you wouldn't steal a couple box of prime steak, though? Oh, if I'm there, yeah. I mean, the town's already, like, destroyed. Might as well. Then in Rome. Yeah, totally. It's not stealing at that point. It's, it's going to go bad at that point. So I'm doing them a favor. Kid, do your best to act like you're out of breath. That ever, you ever done that before? No? Well, just lean over and puke without puking. Like this. That kid didn't mean to do that. Knocked himself out. <laughs> yeah, he's good. He's got CTE now. His brain is scrambled. And the zombies are like, we're not eating him. Those brains suck. I like scrambled brains. I <laughs> okay. like his pride. Okay, <laughs> zombie Dave, you can have them. You ever hear that song, All We Want to Do is Eat Your Brains? No, who sings that? I'm going to send it to you later. I don't know their name. It's a song about a zombie trying to talk reason to his friend. Oh, man. Yuck. We're not unreasonable. Nobody wants to eat your eyes. They got Whoppers? My stomach's growling. I could use a Whopper right now. I remember back in the day when Whoppers were 99 cents. Those, uh, that char, char grilled taste is actually just like sprayed on. Oh, yeah. They just paint the lines on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way the, the patties look before you cook them. <laughs> um, I was a manager at Burger King. I'm not joking. I, no, I I totally believe you. They spray that. <laughs> it's 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 a seasoning type thing for it. So, are the burgers <laughs> cooked on a flat top? Just like McDonald's, man. Just oh like wow! McDonald's. And then they when they put the burger together and wrap it, they stick it in the microwave for like ten seconds. Why? To melt the cheese. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, they're gonna take me out now. I'm spreading. I'm giving out like company secrets yeah the burger king himself is listening into slash tracks right now dude those commercials used to scare me i'm gonna wake up he's gonna be standing over me with a pillow <laughs> staring at me with that creepy mask and just a pillow and i'm like oh it's over i shouldn't have ran my mouth i'd rather it's... have the burger king standing over me than dave thomas it's gonna be slash tracks with alex and the rodeo clown <laughs> alex oh! and mother evil aha <laughs> uh-huh, alex Zombies, Alex. Okay, got it. <laughs> he just said no a bunch. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> it's funny because he stepped on it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's amazing that he actually made it to his destination with all the steering wheel turning that he does. That's how he ended up there, actually. He didn't he hadn't even, been doing yeah. that. If he hadn't been doing that, he would have just kept going straight. He didn't even mean to actually show up to where they're at right now. It's just where the turns of the steering wheel led them. <laughs> where are we at, Joey? Oh, we're at, we're at a, a mad scientist lair from a 1940s serial. That's no, where we're at. <laughs> no, that's, that's either Corey Feldman's fucking basement in Demonic Toys, or it's the Batcave from the 1960s television show. <laughs> Holy beeping noise, Batman. I mean, that, that really looked like an old 19 black and white 40s, like mad scientist uh, computer setup or something. That's actually the world's first dial up. Uh, that's like what dial up required in like 1957. So many kids 
don't know what it was like. We, and our, our walking three miles in snow both ways is going to be, we had to play Super Mario and had to leave the Nintendo on all night to pick up the game in the morning. And we had to listen to ear rape every time we wanted to connect to the internet. Do you do you remember that if someone tried to call you, it'd kick you off the internet? <laughs> so I got so pissed. Oh man! Especially if you're trying to download something off of like Kazaa or LimeWire, because I was even... cybering. Yeah, I was yeah. cybering with someone. Damn it! Shit was just about to pick up, and it was probably at least forty percent a chick and not an old man. <laughs> Do you remember trying to download stuff and you would you would download it? It would actually download and then you try to play it and it would be something completely different than what you thought it was going to be. Napster trolls. Oh, he turned on the stereo. Well, that kid, the one they wanted <clears throat> to actually work the electrical equipment because he's only been dead like a you know a few hours, so he can he can still think properly, you know, a little bit. You know, I've never wanted a kid in a movie to die before. But I kind of want that kid to die. Jesse? The main character, yes. Jesse, yeah. He's just annoying the shit out of me. Is that is that fucked up? Well, he's just like spitting one-liners out, basically, the entire movie. This movie's still a hundred times better than Ghoulies. Shush. <laughs> And, so and there goes the narrator guy. You happy? One He's been gone for a while. Using the boy's curiosity. I'm not supposed to even remember him because we had our mem. Oh no, no, he didn't take our movie memories away. Yeah, we just I remember all the bad stuff. I can't keep up with all the torture and all the plots. <laughs> it's almost as if some of them don't make sense at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wonder who writes this shit. <laughs> Bill Maher, take my TV <laughs> show away. I'll make one here. Oh, fucking jackpot. He's just going to pour it into the pipe. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> how he's going to do a <laughs> shot. <laughs> well, I can't drink while I'm doing something else, so I'll go do this first. <laughs> he's having a... He's having a, a crisis here. Oh my god. It's a little window. He put sticks his head out. It, 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 like what, what would have actually would have happened is he would have had his brains eaten immediately. Right. There would have been one of the zombies waiting. There's a little window here. If we're going to wait till they stick their head out. Yeah, no shit. That guy just about home alone himself right there. I'm surprised he didn't get zombied. He's got so much lacquer in his hair, they wouldn't be able to get through it. Oh, there's no way. Oh, eat him. What did they do? Get in there and be like, oh shit, we need someone to like set the electricity off. Our bad. The sister just signed off on her little brother going going into the zombie. It's like, don't himself. worry. If he gets hurt, I'll wipe all that blood away in two seconds. Yeah, I because I have this uh, this little tiny piece of sham wow. Did they just now realize they needed someone to get out and start the car or something? I mean, what the hell? How well, was that not part of the plan going into it? Okay, if he if he if this is his first time driving anything, it's a stick shift and like an industrial sized vehicle. This clutch is fucked. Am the I clutch. wrong, or was that bottle a lot more full earlier? And he's not drank a drop yet. Who's the president, right? Who's the president going to be in 30 years? Donald Trump. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Smart ass. If they redid Back to the Future right now, Marty <laughs> Marty would be talking to Doc, and he's like, who's the president in 2020? He's like, Donald Trump. You mean the, the reality wrestling guy? <laughs> oh, instead of the, the apprentice actor, guy? Don't... The guy that starred in Home Alone 2 in Zoolander. <laughs> oh my god, what happened to that zombie's eyes in the past, like, two minutes? Well, that old guy's dead now. Should have drank it when you had it. The guy driving that meat truck was actually the Kool-Aid guy, apparently. 
look to anybody that might have been offended by anything we said about certain people. Oh, that's it. That's all I was going to say. <laughs> See, that guy's got something around his eyes now. He didn't have that when he climbed over the fence. The makeup artist was... The button he hit was, like, for the makeup artist, you know, to get their attention. He looks like he's wearing one of those, like, skeleton masks you'd buy at, like, Payless or, like, Fred Meyer when you are a kid. And it's partially done. Like, they just applied the eyeball part. You gotta actually move your head closer to bite him, dipshit. That's well, not gonna dead. work. He's, he's just gonna to tell eat. you to take the damn screwdriver out. And he's a worthless zombie, man. Dude, that's somebody's son that died. Have a little bit of decency. That kid is the worst. Well, both his parents are dead. You know, he killed one of them, Josh. And he's not following his sister's butt like his mom said. Yeah, it looks like they're going to bone down in the back of that meat truck at any point. He's supposed to follow her butt or it's her list. Or was it follow her list or it's her butt? I can't remember. Listen, I told you to keep your eyes on your sister's ass at all times. I, You know, this zombie apocalypse is one thing. But Let you're not me looking see at my sister. Ass. Not until I see my sister. <laughs> Corey Feldman shows up. <laughs> I approve of this message. Edgar Frog approved. All right, where's our where's our Michael Jackson zombie that wasn't supposed to be in the movie and they kept it and were afraid they're going to get sued and never got sued? He's coming. Will you eat my brains, please? I heard it's really hot and spicy. Okay, this kiss is going longer than I thought. I thought they'd be dead by now or we would be. You haven't brushed your teeth all night, have you? It'd be funny if one of the zombies was like, okay, no more brains. That would be the perfect, like, punchline, I think. Let's see if it happens. Don't you think that'd be funny? Yeah, I do, but I was more concerned about him standing next to that freaking live wire because his ass would be dead. Wait. Wait, why does that zombie not have a big hole up coming out of the back of his head there where the screwdriver was stuck through? Because they spent too much money on the practical effects for his fucking eyebrows. Oh, it's another warp pipe. This one will take you to heaven. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm telling you, what this movie needs is is a zombie, you know, seeing all the all the dead zombies and going, okay, no more brains. This movie's very current. Well, on, you know, he's dead. He's having a really bad day, but now he's going to have a bad hair day to boot. Well, he's got that other dude on set, two dudes on set that could teach him something. There it is. For all of you uh, Zoomers out there, this is a reference and joke about a popular music video that was out in the 80s, back in the old days, called Thriller. You know who, you know who that was, too, by the way, Josh? It wasn't Michael Jackson. No, it was Scuzz from the first Return of the Living Dead. Oh, that's cool. I'm about to say, is that shit still alive? It's the origin story of Two-Face. His face looks like ground hamburger at this point. His face looks like this movie put in a blender. <laughs> That old man kind of looked like Robert England for a second there. Man, Robert England only tweets if it's about his new coffee stuff that he's made a he's made some sort of coffee deal uh, with some company, and he tweets about randomly about like movies he'll watch on Netflix. That's his, it. his wife is his manager. Is it? Won't, really? Yeah. I've tried. I tried so hard to get him on your show. To get him on a show to do a intro anything i think that if we wanted him to do a cameo it would cost at least a thousand dollars i bet you anything that's what jim neidhart cost back before he passed okay let's dollars? see what happens for a show yeah let's see what happens here 
All of a sudden, the people from Always Sunny do their thing. <laughs> That's what we saw before we had started the movie. <laughs> Just our demise. Oh, she did it! No more brings. That was all me. I came up with that. I came up with it. Oh, man. Okay. I gotta say, it's not the worst movie we've had to watch. Uh, well, well, it's not the best, either. Why, why does this... <laughs> yeah, no, I was gonna say, why does this sound like the Monster Mash? Because it is the Monster Mash! <laughs> <laughs> there's no the joke Return there. Of the it's... Living Dead 2 Mash! Yeah, there's no joke. It just is what it is. It is. It's just a cover of it. This is the best part of the movie. This song is great. If you if there's like a Halloween uh festival or something going on at the school or something and they're not playing this song, it's it, it <laughs> you're in an alternate reality. I had some of my best memories of trick or treating with my mom. You know, they would play this song like every hour on the hour, and I just have great memories of listening to this song in my mom's car going around eating always, candy. Always wanted to go to the Monster Mash. Never got never made the list, never made the invite list. Damn. Maybe I will now. Yeah, well, channel keeps growing. You probably will. <laughs> I mean, where would I fit in, though, you know? You could be, like, you could park their cars. <laughs> Drive them like this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could park their cars, vans, or meat trucks. Drive them all over the road, like, with the steering wheel. I'm being serious. This cover is actually pretty good. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. I don't mind this at all. I wonder if... uh. When whenever we get reconnected to Master Evil in a second, if he's gonna give a, give it up now that he found out he's not a blood evil, I you know what that was a that was a bombshell that surprised You're me. You're the I, one you, that dropped it. Well, I didn't I didn't know until I was able to read his mind. I I wasn't sure if I believed myself. I mean, I, I just take it easy with the mind reading because you're probably gonna end up pissing him off or something. You know, I should have known that you were going to give me this lecture because I knew you were going to say that before you said it. But it's a curse I have to live with, right? <laughs> I knew really? you were going to laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know I was going to say this? Yeah. Monster Mash? Yes. Banana? Split? Toothbrush? Bowling? Camera? Cane hotter? Woman? Person? Man? Camera? TV? Woman, person, man, camera, TV. Okay? I just, I can't go away from this song. I don't want to go yet. <laughs> but you know it's going to happen. We're going to get pulled into some bullshit. He's actually going to call us, like, I now. He's calling, right? No, he, I, wait, that's just me seeing him call. It's coming. You know what? Let's just let's just go and see what's going on with him because he should have called by now. This All is right. weird. All right. Let's uh, let's just let's just connect to him, okay? All right. All right. Let's do it. In uh, let's just go right now. Anytime. Let's go, Alex. <laughs> let's get. We and gotta connect our power go. rings. Spider Man. The producers wish to acknowledge the following. Spider-Man, what the fuck? Hey, Spider-Man exists in the Return of the Living Dead universe, apparently. And they had to acknowledge him. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. We're done. We're done here. I need to get a tape of this soundtrack. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's not what you think. Just because you aren't an evil by blood doesn't mean you aren't still evil. Have you been writing down your evil feelings in your diary, like I said? Yes, ma. But why would you not tell me this? Why? Why? <laughs> when you are ready to stop being so emotional and start being evil, then come downstairs and we'll talk. <laughs> We're here, Master Evil. Um, well, 
Well, did you two finally lose your will to live? Yeah, somewhere in that mother-son talk I almost did, but no, not really. The movie's actually kind of a classic. You're slipping a little. Why are you thinking of giving up on the evil life and moving to Wyoming? Oh, don't stop that mind reading again. You won't like what happens. Whether I'm adopted or not, I'm still evil, and I'm still your master! Okay, okay, fine. What else would you like from us, master? We need to give away another $10 gift card to Amazon to a lucky viewer. So to all those watching, if you want to win this episode's $10 Amazon gift card, be the first to comment below the code word. The first person to do so wins. And the code word is... Trioxin. Damn it, Alex, I said stay out of my head. Yes. The code word is trioxin. Alex, chill, man. You're going to piss him off to the point of Gizuli's fizzor. Quit it, Josh. You're just saying that to kiss his ass and score more points like usual. And wait, you actually want to see that movie? Dude, stay out of my head. Uh -huh. What am I thinking about, Alex? What are you thinking? So, what I'm thinking. What is that filthy... Dirty rodeo clown thinking. Oh my god, man. What did you do before you became a rodeo clown? I don't think I want you watching me sleep anymore either, by the way. Uh, ha, 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 um, uh, I, uh, back in the barrel. Bye! He's still in the barrel over there? What am I thinking? Oh, what a, hmm, Sister Evil. Well, this one's pretty easy. You're wondering when your mom will get rid of that singing telegram guy in the penguin suit that's in the freezer. And w wait, wait, who the hell are you? And why is there someone dressed as a penguin in your freezer? Enough! If you read anyone else's mind, you will sorely regret it, Alex. Now, I usually give you a hint at what the next movie will be. But this time, I'm going to keep it a secret and let you two stew on it and worry about it and dread whatever it may. It's Monster Brawl. The movie's going to be Monster Brawl. That's the movie. Alex, why do you do this? Oh, Alex. Yes, Master Evil? Be a champ and read my mind. Real quick. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, the things that you have planned for me. Indeed. <laughs> oh, oh, Josh, what up, Alex Slash Track? What's going on? I'll bust it in the damn head. When Master Evil comes to play And Mama says that it's okay Alex